Jeff Jackson here with another edition of Telecom Tips from Telephone Magic. Today we'll be featuring the Avaya Nortel 3900 series phones for Meridian PBX and uh, for more recent switches uh, such as the uh, CS1000 communication server that Avaya rebranded when they took over the Nortel SMB uh, portfolio. Uh, all you have to do to start out is come to telephonemagic.com and uh, just on the second line of uh, phones on the home page you'll see in the very first column the Avaya Nortel 3900 series phones. Uh, and we just have to click on the photograph or on the title itself. It takes you to the 3900 series phone page. And um, there are a number of models to choose from uh, that are digital sets that will go on the CS1000 as mentioned and also Meridian 1 PBX's, uh, Option 11C for instance. Uh, the 3904 is kind of the executive set that everybody uh, is, uh, I mean, it's the, it's definitely the set of choice for most people. Uh, depending on the circumstances, though, another set may be more appropriate. But the 3900 series uh, phones, this is definitely the one that uh, I think most people prefer. It's the professional phone for executives, managers, and administrators. Anyone who needs uh, sort of maximum flexibility in a multi-line phone. Uh, it has a 5 line by 24 character display here. You can see the big display on the phone. Um, it's got six, six self-labeling keys. Um, they're programmable feature keys with a shift as well, so it actually allows you to program 12 things. They are the three buttons at the side here and on the other side of the phone uh, as well, or the other side of the display. And I'm going to show you the phone a little closer up so you can see that in just a moment. Uh, four contact sensitive uh, feature keys. It also has feature keys, fixed keys for hold, uh, goodbye, volume control, sort of a smart mute uh, with a headset uh, LED. Uh, there's an options button uh, when you can get into the actual options on the set, the features, uh, a message key, a directory log, including redial, applications, a shift key, a hands-free key with an LED as well. There's a dual purpose LED indicator for message waiting and incoming calls so you know the difference between the two. Uh, it has a navigation cluster uh, below the display. You'll see the arrows there pointing up, down, side to side. Uh, the uh, desk uh, or wall mount uh, positions are good for this phone. Uh, you can take the base off the bottom of the phone and it mounts just perfectly flat on the wall or with the base it actually provides a bit of an incline. And it does support two snap-in cartridge accessories. We will get to that in just a bit. Uh, and there are two color choices. Charcoal, which is essentially black, and platinum, which is essentially gray. I mean, I guess those are the two closest colors to figure uh, sort of a comparison. Now, you'll see on every one of the pages uh, for the 3904 series phones and on the index page itself that you can easily get a quote. And uh, the get a quote section is well laid out uh, where you can actually enter your phone quantity. For instance, we want four of these sets. And then under the type of color, we're going to go with the charcoal phones. And then we're going to choose to have maybe a corded headset as well. And we want one for every phone. Then you just click on the get a quote button here or here. And automatically, uh, you'll be into the part of the quote where all you have to do is provide some quick contact info. And one of our reps would call you back to discuss your requirements and make sure that you're ordering the exact uh, product that you do need. So uh, that's the 3904 and I did want to show you an extra large view of the phone. Uh, all you have to do is click here or on the photograph itself and automatically it takes you to this page and for the 3902, 3 and 4 phones we have these extra large photos and now I can show you these six programmable buttons here uh, three on each side of the display and again with the shift key that allows you to program 12 things uh, that are completely sort of uh, at your beck and call. The type of thing or feature or speed dial or extension DSS key that will um, suit your exact requirements for the phone. Here's the nav cluster we were talking about. You see the arrows up and down and side to side and you've got your headset button and obviously the hold button here. The message waiting indicator is right here and it's uh, viewable from both the front and the back of the phone. We now move on to the um, 
3903 phone. So uh, just a bit of a step down here. And again, you can either order uh, the phones directly from the index page, or there's a more extensive page of information uh, right here. Uh, Multi-line phone again. It is a three-line display though. Uh, still the 24 characters in width. Uh, two self-labeling keys, one on each side of the phone. And you can see those right here and right here. Um, as well, uh, there's four contact sensitive keys again. All the same basic feature keys, the fixed ones, so I won't go through them again. Uh, there's a dual purpose LED indicator, message waiting or incoming calls, a nav cluster again with a quit and a copy. Uh, there's a desk or wall mount position for the phone and it does again support two snap in accessories and available again in charcoal or platinum. And again, by just clicking here with the view large image or on the phone itself, the picture, you can get this extra large view of the phone and uh, it shows you the programmable buttons here uh, for instance and again it is a smaller display top to bottom but still the same width and all the same features for headset hold your message waiting indicator very much similar to the 3904 uh, this phone is I guess basically an ideal choice for office professionals technical specialists uh, you utilize it with the option 11C Nortel PBX and again it also is usable with the CS1000, the Avaya CS1000 or the Nortel uh, branded version of the same uh, PBX, uh, the IP PBX that is because it hosts either these 3900 digital phones, it also hosts the 4000 series deck phones and it hosts the um, IP phones uh, from Nortel Avaya as well. So the 3902 now again we're moving down in steps uh, it is a single line basic phone with display based interface, hands free uh, capability as well. Designed for light telephone use, more feature requirements. Um, it's for the 11C, the 51C, the 61C and, and, the, uh, and the Nortel uh, option 81C as well. It works great in uh, areas for manufacturing or warehousing. Uh, the uh, phone has a two-line 24 character display so again the display is in fact uh, wide as you can see here has the one programmable uh, context sensitive button there's three self-labeling program feature keys in all actually um, and it has six fixed feature keys options message transfer goodbye hold and a smart mute with an LED it's also hands-free uh, with LED it's got a nav cluster uh, it's desk or wall mountable just like the other two and it does have the headset support but only one accessory port in the back of the phone to host some of the modules that I'll get into momentarily. So it's a, there's a good view of the phone again and it, and it really is a, a great phone for more light positions and for uh, warehousing and things like that when you need to get uh, have some of the same features as the larger sets but just maybe it's not a, an intense telephone position. Uh, we move now to the 3901 as we go down again one more step. Uh, the 3901, it's an economical digital single line telephone. It's geared for areas of the business with the lightest call volumes, lobbies, reception areas, cafeterias, hallways. Does not have a display, but it does have the message waiting indicator here. does have a hold button uh, and uh, it does have headset support still. Um, but uh, as far as the uh, features go, um, it basically has a convenient feature card right here. You can see the top and bottom of the card. And it actually will have the printed features in this case and auto dial numbers. And then you'll actually dial them by just dialing the feature code or by dialing the extension number. Uh, it is desk or wall mountable though and does come in the two colors charcoal or platinum We don't have a, an extra large version of this phone as far as a photograph on the site because it is fairly uh, Basic you'll see your volume down and up here and some of the other keys that I pointed out does have a message waiting indicator Can be seen from front or back which is a, a great feature uh, Even if it's sitting on a desk, so that's a that's a good thing um, Then finally there's the 3905 phone now we've, we've gone three 39 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we move to the 3905. This is more of a specialty phone. You'll notice there's no position to actually put the phone handset because there isn't one. It's designed for specialized needs and productivity of sort of a call center environment. For call center agents, they're all basically on headphones, headsets that is, phone headsets. There's, it's for the agents, it's for the supervisors, 
Um, and it includes a direct connect headset for the agents as well as the supervisor port so you can actually have two people plugged in with headsets uh, with microphones and able to actually monitor the call and or speak onto the call as need be. Uh, the headset port works in conjunction with the supervisor observe button. It allows them to listen in on the active call or listen and talk if somebody asks to speak to the supervisor. Very interesting set and it's a very specialized use. Does have the big four line by 24 character display. Eight self-labeled keys actually for programming line or feature keys. Still has all the rest of the features of the 3904 basically with the nav cluster and everything else. And it does support two snap-in cartridges and available in both colors. Finally, we get into some of the accessories and you'll see here uh, the snap-in phone accessories, there's uh, a, a, quite a few of them actually. Uh, for instance, there's an ATA that is an analog terminal adapter allowing, for instance, to plug in a fax machine or a, uh, a single line device like a, a cordless phone. Uh, that is a module that plugs right into the back of the phone. Uh, there's a key-based expansion module and a display-based expansion module. And these actually are for when you're going to want to add uh, banks of potential DSS keys where you want one touch access to the other extensions in the building. So those modules, for instance, would be used more for a reception position. Uh, here's the key-based expansion module here, really. Um, and, and this is a very, you can see how it has the keys on both sides of the module, and it just joins right into the phone and can be uh, tilted to the display orientation of the phone itself. For instance, there's a 3904 set with the display module, and it shows all the keys where one touch access, and you can see if someone's on the phone ahead of time. Um, and uh, the key base module has 22 DSS keys uh, and um, you can actually add two key based modules to your digital M1 phone so you can have 44 extra sort of one touch keys and to view the status of uh, individuals. It can be actually added to a 3904 or a 3905. So uh, that's just one of the modules, but you can see there's there's quite a few of them for different a a accessories that are that are based on different requirements. Uh, there's a PC utility and a recording interface uh, and a computer telephony integration adapter. So if you want to actually do CTI, uh, then you're all set for that as well. And that's basically it. It's the 3900 series digital phones. They are Nortel branded. They are Avaya branded now. Uh, uh, Nortel called them the M3900 series. Avaya just calls them simply the 3900 series phones. But both basically work on both the Nortel uh, Meridian 1 PBX and uh, more recent sort of IP PBXs when you want digital sets as well as IP phones. Uh, then you can actually uh, retain your uh, 3900 series phones from your uh, M1 PBX and you can now bring them over to the CS1000, etc. So uh, we uh, appreciate your time and uh, we hope that you learned something about the Nortel 3900 series phones from Nortel and now co-branded and branded by Avaya. Uh, this has been Telecom Tips from Telephone Magic and we appreciate your comments. We hope you like the video uh, and maybe you can actually physically press the like key uh, and we certainly look forward to subscribers. Uh, if you can do that, that's great too. We appreciate all of that and any of the feedback that you'd like to give us would be great. We look forward to bringing you another edition of Telecom Tips from Telephone Magic.